Congratulations with your world title. Uh, what do you think about the stage today? Was it uh, really special something for you? Yeah, of course. Um, it's uh, it's special. It's you know I started last. I was uh, told the, by everybody I was I was the favorite today. Not that I I did that uh, say that myself, but uh, at least I started uh, at the at the last rider and uh, I was told to be the favorite and. It was uh, it's my last shot, you know, in the under 23, and uh, you know, if I if I ever wanted to win, it was today. So um, and yeah, of course, uh, it's special. So when you do, it was a kind of revenge, I think. What? It was a kind of revenge, I think, about England. You forgotten it, or yeah. it was still on your head, I think. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's not that I look at the things like this this with their uh, you know revenge eyes, because for me. That would be disturbing for the uh, for the um, you know the um, the competition and the, the effort I had to do, but uh, at, at the same time it's it's for me a full circle because uh, uh, I were in the gutter and I were in the puddle uh, two years ago at the last under 23 World Championships, and today I'm I'm on the top of the podium. Uh, so from uh, from uh, last to first uh, and and representing that uh, you know. That um, that uh, return and that uh, you know revenge. I wouldn't call it revenge because that's a bit of a negative word in, in my my uh, my eyes. But you know that um, you know rise from from uh, the last position is is what I I wanted to represent today. What do you hope your golden medal will bring you in the future? I mean, for me, it's it's of course just. Um, I, I just live in this moment, and I'm very happy for this medal. And um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I, I hope it would bring anything in the future uh, because I know I'm a good time trialist, and, and today I showed it yet again. It's it's my thir third uh, championship uh, title in the under 23 uh, in the TT. So it's not that uh, this is the first first time I I uh, I do something good in the under 23. So that is just yeah, you know what I hope what that people will see that I'm, you know consistent in the time trial uh, and can return from you know, last year was a bad year due to COVID and, and stuff like that um, so I didn't really have uh, the pace there and yeah things didn't go very well and yeah, this year I, I, uh, I turned it back around and now I'm, I'm on the top of the podium so I wanted to show that today. What about the Danish people for the next races uh, maybe on Sunday uh, it can be really good I hope for you uh, <laughs> I'm not racing Sunday because I wanted to focus on the TT. Oh, of course, but yeah. I mean the Danish people uh, will uh, be happy with a medal. I think it's possible. Yeah, yeah. No, of course in the elite race. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, the the squad is uh, very very strong, and yeah, it's it's kind of historical because the the t the the team to this year is is unbelievable, and and I I, I have no clue when uh, we had that team before. So I think uh, the Danish generation is is on a rise and on a current peak. So yeah, it will be interesting to see. So the sad news about everything, you bring the sun a little bit to Denmark, I think now. Yeah, of course, uh, it was very beautiful with the the Danish national anthem in the in the center here, and um, yeah, I just. I also wanted to bring some uh, something for Denmark, but also something for uh, yeah, of course Chris, because uh, I wanted to show uh, fighter spirit today, and because that was what he stood for, uh, and I think uh, yeah, I did, I did, I, I hope that uh, I did so, and um, yeah, I wanted to honor him in the best way. Thank you very much, and good luck for the future. Yeah. Thank you so much.